talk about solving inequalities. To solve inequalities, you follow the same steps as solving equations, except when you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number. We will look at examples of what you need to do when you multiply or divide by a negative number. As a reminder, here are the inequality symbols, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, and greater than. Here's our first example. As a reminder, we draw a line through the symbol to create two sides of our equation or inequality. Once you have done that, you want to start with undoing or following the inverse operation of any addition or subtraction. I will subtract two, and as a reminder, if you do it to one side of the equation or inequality, you have to do it to the other. Two minus two is gonna cancel out, which leaves me with negative four X, don't forget your symbol, less than or equal to 16. This is the part where we see what we need to do since I have a negative four on this side. The inverse of multiplication is division, so I will divide by negative four on both sides. It's gonna cancel out on the left and leave me with X and 16 divided by negative four is gonna give me negative four. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip your sign around. So this goes from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Let's look at why that is. If I end up with x is greater than or equal to negative four, if x were equal to positive one, if I substituted x here, one is greater than or equal to negative four. This is still true because we flipped our sign. If x were equal to positive one, and I did not flip my sign, one is less than or equal to negative four is not true. This is why we have to flip our sign to be sure that our inequality will still remain true at the end of our problem. Let's take a look at another example. We wanna start again with doing the inverse of the addition or subtraction. So here I'm gonna subtract four from both sides. Four minus four is gonna cancel out. Always remember to drop down your sign and bring down whatever you have on the left-hand side. Negative eight minus four is the same thing as negative eight plus negative four, which gives us negative 12. Now we wanna do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. This is gonna cancel out over here and leave us with x on this side and negative 12 divided by three is negative four. Notice, I'm taking a negative number divided by a positive number. I'm not dividing by a negative number, so I don't need to flip my sign. In order to flip our sign, the number that we are dividing by has to be the negative number. Since the number that is being divided is the negative number, we do not need to flip our sign. For this last example, feel free to pause the video here to try this one on your own, or continue watching to see how I solve it. First, again, we want to do the inverse of any addition or subtraction. So I'm gonna subtract eight on both sides. This cancels out and leaves us with x divided by negative two is less than four. x divided by negative two, the inverse of that is to multiply by negative two on both sides. This is gonna cancel out over on the left and leave us with x. Four times negative two is negative eight. Since I've multiplied by a negative number, I will flip my sign to give me x is greater than negative eight. Again, to review, you follow the same steps as solving equations, except multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Remember to flip your sign to make sure that your inequality remains true.